So let us now move on to the last uh, type of rock, which is what we call as metamorphic rock. The word metamorphic comes from the Greek words meta, meaning change, and morphosis, meaning form. So, may kita natin na ang metamorphic rocks ay may proseso na pagbabago ng form or hugis or ng physical na anyo. So, what causes the changes of these rocks? It is caused by the heat and pressure deep beneath Earth's surface. Okay? So, ang metamorphic rock ay mabubuo dahil sa matinding heat or init and pressure. When the rock changes into metamorphic rock, its appearance, texture, crystal structure, and mineral content change. So, tatandaan natin na kung ang isang bato pwedeng igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic, ay magiging isang metamorphic rock magbabago ang kanyang appearance, texture, crystal structure, and mineral content. While metamorphic rocks are forming, high temperature change the size and shape of the grains or the mineral crystals in the rock. So, lagi nating tatandaan na meron talagang uh, Required na mataas na temperatura. So, napakainit nito. At kapag ang mga bato ay naranasan ang ganitong mataas na temperature, magbabago po ang mga sizes and shape ng mga grains or crystals na meron sa kanila. In addition, tremendous pressure squeezes rock so tightly that the mineral grains may line up in flat parallel layers. So, makikita natin na merong mga bato na may mga layering. No? At ang dahilan pala nito kung bakit sila ay may layers ay dahil sa uh, great or tremendous pressure na nangyari sa kanila no? sa ilalim ng kalupaan. So, what do you observe between the two sample of rocks? So, what do you observe in a granite as well as in gneiss? What is the major changes that happen uh, to this uh, rock? Okay, so tama kayo na sa granite, walang layering. Pero makikita mo na may mga grains na can be observed, no? Obviously, by the naked eye. But in nice, nagkaroon na po ng layering. Parang nagkaroon ng alinya ang mga grains na ito. So, this is an example of a metamorphic rock from a parent igneous rock, which is granite. So, another uh, sample of metamorphic rock is slate. Ang slate ay nanggaling naman sa isang sedimentary rock na shale. So, uh, um, a while ago, we were able to talk about the sedimentary rocks. At ang shale ay galing sa sediments na clay and mud. Ngayon, nung siya ay dumaan sa tremendous pressure and heat, it will become now a slate as a metamorphic rock. So, what do you observe between the two? So, sa slate, nagkaroon siya ng... Uh, layers, hindi masyadong obvious pero meron. Okay, and nagbago ang kulay 
So, medyo naging lighter ang color ni Slate. No? Okay. So, that's it. Another example is the limestone. So, the limestone, as we all know, is a sedimentary rock, an organic sedimentary rock. So, it is when the limestone is being subjected to heat and pressure, it will become now a marble. And marble now is a metamorphic rock. So, what do you observe between the changes of the limestone to a marble? So, makikita natin na ang kulay ay nag-iba from a dark color to a light color. And then, parang medyo naging... Um, Siguro sabihin natin medyo shiny rin kahit pa paano ang marble compared sa limestone na dull ang color. Pero walang layering, walang layer na nangyari sa marble. And in sandstone, sandstone is also a sedimentary rock uh, formed from the sediments such as sand. Okay, so sa sandstone naman, when it is subjected to tremendous heat and pressure. So, it will become now a quartzite, which is a metamorphic rock. So, dito naman, parang lumaki naman yung kanyang grains, pero walang layering. Lumaki lang yung grains, so may mga nag-ipon-ipon na grains, kaya nag-iba-iba yung uh, color din niya, no? Okay. So, that's it. The limestone, is turned to a marble and the sandstone is turned into a quartzite. So in a metamorphic rock, it needs great heat and pressure to change one type of rock into another. So as we were able to mention uh, a while ago, the granite, which is an igneous rock, becomes nice. The shale, which is a sedimentary rock, becomes slate. And the sandstone, which is a sedimentary rock, also changes to quartzite. And makita natin na there is a change na nangyari. No, like for example, nagkaroon ng layering, nagkaroon naman ng pagkakaiba ng color, at nagkaroon naman ng pagbabago sa sizes ng grains. Okay, so that's it from an old igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic to a final metamorphic rock. So, there are two types of metamorphic rock, the foliated and non-foliated. So, what do we mean by foliated? So, foliated metamorphic rocks causes minerals in the original rock to reorient themselves. The long, flat, Minerals align perpendicular to where themselves the greatest pressure is directed. So, definitely, this kind of metamorphic rock has layer band appearance. So, meron po siyang layer. Yun lang po ang ibig sabihin ng foliated. Meron po siyang layer. Um, so, what causes the foliation? So, the foliation forms when pressure squeezes the flat or elongate minerals within a rock, so they became aligned. So, yung mga grains or the, the crystals or even the minerals, magkakaroon ng alignment. No? Kaya may kita nyo, parang may layer itong metamorphic rock na to. Ayan. So, dahil po yan sa pressure. So, alam naman natin na kapag may pressure, parang merong nalilibing sila sa ilalim ng lupa. No, parang parang merong uh, mga bagong rock na dumadagan sa mga sa mga batong ito. At ito ang dahilan kung bakit nagkakaroon ng alignment. One type of a foliated rock is slate. As we all know, slate comes from the shale. So, what do you observe about the color? It is gray, fine-grained rock, okay, made of mineral quartz and muscovite along with hematite, biotite, and pyrite. So, marami po siyang mineral content. And itong mga mineral content, gaya na sinabi natin kanina, nag-align po siya. 
So, dito, medyo maliliit lang yung alignment, pero kahit pa paano, nakikita natin. Used extensively as roof tile or writing slate and blackboard. So, may mga purposes din pala itong mga minerals na to based on their texture, based on their um, weight, based on their mineral content, based on their uh, um, uh, several properties. no. So, yun po yung kanyang gamit. So, another foliated metamorphic rock is nice. Those, this is derived from the parent rock, which is a granite. So, as you can see, the minerals such as the feldspar or quartz aligned no aligned into a flattened layer and then the layered bands alternating no meron makikita natin alternating ng dark and light bands no iba iba so it is highly visible no it is different from granite kasi sa granite wala kang makikitang layer pero makikita mo yung mga uh, grains niya na malalaki. So, the other type of metamorphic rock is non-foliated. Formed around igneous intrusive recrystallization of the minerals within the, the rock. New minerals are formed. Small calcite crystal in limestone change into large crystals in marble. So, dito, walang alignment, pero nagbabago yung mga minerals. Ang tawag doon ay recrystallization. No? Or, kung hindi man yung mineral ang nagbago, pwedeng yung shape or size ng mineral. From small to large crystals. Sometimes, metamorphic rocks are non-foliated. The mineral grains in these rocks are arranged randomly. Okay? Metamorphic rocks that are non-foliated do not split into layers. So, lang tatandaan natin, ang, ang non-foliated ay walang layer. Because the mineral grains are arranged randomly. For example, one of the rock that is non-foliated is marble. So, it the uh, marble is derived from its parent rock called limestone. So, sinasabi nila, most beautiful rock because of its shimmering luster. So, may kita natin, parang shiny ang marble. No? And usually, familiar ba kayo sa mga tiles, marble tiles? O kaya yung tinatawag nating mga jolen, usually made of marble yan. So, this is usually made to make buildings, uh, sculptures, and monuments. Ayan po yung marmol sa Tagalog. So, sabi natin, ang changes dito yung crystal. Kasi sa limestone, maliit yung crystal. Pagdating sa marble, lumaki na po yung crystal. So, ganun yung naging metamorphism ng limestone to marble. Due to tremendous heat and pressure. And lastly, for quartzite, which is also a non-foliated rock. So, the quartzite is derived from its parent rock, sandstone. Um, alam naman natin na ang sandstone ay talagang very hard, no? Dahil ito ay composed from sediments such as sand na pinagdikit-dikit. So, the, it is very hard and durable and used in glass making. So, hopefully, marami kayong naiintindihan about the three types of rocks, the igneous, the sedimentary, and the metamorphic rocks. So, thank you very much for watching my video and be ready for our summative tests after uh, watching this video. Thank you very much. God bless.